Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me at Evolutionary Energy Arts. Do you know how to tell if your fruit and veggies are organic, conventional, or GMO? This is something I didn't even know um, just even like about a year ago, that it was all number coded. And a friend had brought this to my attention. I, I just always simply would head over to the organic section when it came to certain th items. And we'll get into what items, you know, you could possibly, if you had to save the money, go ahead and get conventional. Um, but which ones you really, really shouldn't get conventional. And then I would always avoid GMOs. If it looks too good, if it stays, quote unquote, fresh for like two months, you know it's a GMO. But you can also tell by looking at the codes. So... If it's a five digit code starting with an eight, that means it's a GMO. So it's genetically modified, <clears throat> which means grown unnaturally. It's genetically enhanced in some ways. They've played with its DNA. Now, if it starts with a four and it's a four digit code, then it's conventional. And this means it's grown with chemicals and pesticides, which unfortunately has been the norm for probably 70 or 80 years now and getting worse. If it's a five digit code and it starts with a nine, that means it's organic. So it's grown naturally, there's no chemicals, no pesticides, and it's also not GMO if it's, it starts with a nine. And so as much as possible, you really wanna eat organic. Um, it you know is such a backward world that something that is quote unquote organic usually costs significantly more than something that has had its genes modified or something that is loaded with chemicals and pesticides. But it is the case, you know, and so many people will say, I can't afford organic. I, I just can't afford organic, you know, so I, I got to buy what's on sale. Why would I buy that uh, $2 red pepper? when I could buy these red peppers for 79 cents. But the fact is, look at what you're eating and look what's going to do to you. For one, and this is you know something different, but it, it still factors in. Most of us, you know, have a pound or two to lose, you know, so it, it's better to buy less of something that's truly healthy for you than to buy more of something that's not. So even if it means that your serving size goes down, that's okay. You know, if we we be, we have become a supersized society and now people are starting to realize, you know, that that has led to the uh, rampant obesity you know, everywhere in the United States for sure. Um, when you look at the size of people now compared to when our grandparents were alive, I mean, it's it's night and day. They were much thinner, and part of it also is is because they were more active. Because now we we sit so much at the computers, we you know take cars everywhere. You know we we just have a real mechan mechanized society. But getting back to this, so remember nine five digits, organic starts with a four four digits conventional, so loaded with pesticides and chemicals, and if it's it starts with a five and it has eight then that's genetically modified and and run for the hills organic uses natural fertilizers such as manure compost to nourish soil and promote plant growth they rotate crops they use mulch or hand weed to provide beneficial crop hygiene remove pests and reduce disease they give organic feed to animals so when we're talking you know same thing with your beef your chicken things along those lines and uh, they also allow them to access to open pasture while utilizing rotational grazing patterns conventional use synthetic or chemical fertilizers often contains nitrates to promote plant growth they use herbicides to kill off weeds and insecticides to kill off insects and bugs in order to reduce disease <coughs> use antibiotics growth hormones and medications in animals to prevent disease and promote growth and that is a huge one because 
the antibiotics they go in the animal then they go into you so your good microbiome the microbiome is your healthy it, it's the bacteria that lives inside you and there are more bacteria living inside you usually by about a 10 count than there are actual cells in your body so you are a universe every single person is an entire universe with trillions of living things in it when you use antibiotics you're just scorching the earth you're, you're killing things randomly and if you eat a cow if you eat a hamburger if you eat a steak if you eat chicken that has been given these antibiotics the same thing is going to go through into your system and it's going to be like you're taking in small doses of antibiotics time and time and time again same thing with growth hormones <clears throat> you might look at a bodybuilder and say i would never do steroids well if you're eating regular beef you're doing steroids that's just the fact you know you're you're taking in artificial growth hormones that definitely are linked to increased risk of cancer and there's there's no ands if or buts it, it's definitely a risk and you know they they just medicate the animals and they do whatever they can to prevent disease and promote fast growth because time is money so it's rapid growth and if you see the way these poor animals look it's it's very very sad and the conditions they have to live in GMOs were first created in 1973 after years of testing and research GMOs were introduced into farmers and in the 90s genetically modified foods became available in stores probably a little bit earlier than that really in the 40s US farmers lost only 7% of their crops to pests since the 80s loss has increased to 13% even though more pesticides are being used between 500 and 1,000 insect and weed species have developed pesticide resistance since 1945, but they still keep spraying them. And then you ingest it. And very harmful. Pesticides are poisons. They're used to kill pests. If you had them in a large enough quantity, they'll kill you. We use pesticides to kill off pests that, hunt, that hurt us, animals, and plants. Farmers first used them to kill bugs and weeds because they had big fields. So what can you get by on in eating non-organic and what must you buy organic? Well, the dirty dozen are the, these are definitely ones you want to get organic. Apples, strawberries, grapes, celery, peaches, spinach, sweet bell peppers, nectarines, cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, snap peas, and potatoes. And then the clean 15, the ones that still will have some residue on them but are not as bad. Um, sweet potatoes, cauliflower, cantaloupe, grapefruit, eggplant, kiwis, papayas, mangoes, avocados, sweet corn, pineapples, cabbage, sweet peas, onions, and asparagus. So make note of those. So if you're, if you're going to not buy everything organic, then the Clean 15 won't be so bad as the Dirty Dozen. And the worst of the dirty dozen are apples, celery, and strawberries. And it's amazing. Sometimes it kills me to look. I love strawberries. They're one of my favorites. And, you know, when you see them on sale and they're only like $1.50 for a nice, you know, box of them. And you got to look at the other side and that's four ninety nine, five ninety nine, six ninety nine. dollars And then usually I just don't buy them. You know, or if the organics you know 399 or or 4 ish then sometimes I'll get them but you're better off really not ingesting the dirty dozen than taking them in in the long run and it's not just the pesticides and all the extras look at the actual value nutritionally of what you get like take snap peas calcium three times as much in organic as conventional magnesium four times as much you, you know see these numbers so you're as I was saying you might not be filling your plate with as much but you will get more nutrition in less calories and you know veggies are really low in calories anyway um, than if you bought GMO or conventional so it only makes sense to buy these things if you're looking at food as what is it doing for me nutritionally and the cabbage 
organic cost 99 cents a pound and conventional is costing you 79 cents a pound and you're getting this much more nutrition out of it it makes perfect sense to get the organic and you know you're not also taking in the pesticides and it might not be genetically modified as well so you get more in actual nutrition from conventional and a big part of why is because they're not planting the same crop in the same space year after year they're doing the things that we've done for thousands of years rotating crops crops depending on the crop it, it takes different nutrients out of the soil and then as things die and get reworked back into the soil they bring different nutrients in so by rotating the crops you know you're keeping the soil balanced and rich and that's not the case with these conventional and GMOs you know I'll drive by and see the same crop year after year after year in the same spot and that's not good because then the nutritional contents not going to be as good studies are showing now that conventional produce can harm sperm and G GMOs will screw up your DNA plain and simple and anybody that tells you otherwise is just probably working for the FDA who you know is also in the pocket of the big corporations so if you look at it the average sperm count of Americans from 1938 to 1998 this is a 60 year period look at a drop boom straight on down you know that's related to pesticides and then now we have all the GMOs in there too and um, it's it's just always moving lower and if you remember agenda 21 if you remember the words of Bill Gates if you remember the Georgia Guidestones reducing the population to 500 million from 7 point something billion well this will help in the long run this is gonna help so they watch you ingesting these conventional and GMO foods eggs you know it's again another one where shoot you know you could buy a dozen eggs for 99 cents you know if you get conventional and then if you're looking at organic full organic you know it could be like four or five bucks it's it's crazy the difference but it's really there's a big difference and again more nutrition and everything is energy and so if you're eating an animal that had a happy life believe me it's imprinted in the cells your body takes that in if you're eating an animal that has been sick pumped full of antibiotics to keep it going that has not been able to stretch its wings out ever in its entire life that's living in this jam-packed prison you're ingesting those energies and those emotions because they get imprinted in the flesh so definitely it's another thing to think about organic versus conventional and again conventional antibiotics means are withheld to do induce molting hens have less than a half a square foot of space they're unable to spread their wings the conventional feed because you're eating what they're eating so what are they eating they're eating crap and they're going to have more cholesterol, more saturated fat, which is the bad fat, less vitamin A, less omega 3s, you know, which omega 3s are, are critical to, to overall health. Three times less vitamin E, seven times less beta carotene, four to six times less vitamin D. Where organic, they're fed only organic feed. They're free of animal byproducts. I mean, they feed chickens dead chickens. You know, it's, it's gross. You know, they, they feed them their own kind. No synthetic fertilizers, no pesticides, no other chemical additives, GMO-free, no antibiotics, unless infection. Just like if you went to the doctor. No hormones or other drugs, no induced molting, cage-free with outdoor access. They're, they're just happier. This is typical. And this is not even as bad as I've seen it. Sometimes it's even worse than this. As opposed to this. You know, they're not having a bad life. They're kind of happy. They're getting taken care of, and they got a safe place to be. It's the same thing with the cows. 
exact same thing. Uh, you know, should it's you know they're a lot happier when they're out there in the sunshine. They have room to walk, room to graze, as opposed to just being lined on up. And again, I've seen worse than this. So, just a refresher. Remember, five organic, grow naturally, no chemicals. Four starts with a four conventional chemicals, pesticides, and who knows what. And if it starts with a five, yes, avoid it like the plague, because it will mess up with your DNA. And especially if you're young and you're going to have kids, you know it's horrible. So avoid GMOs, avoid conventional, buy organic as much as you could. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you guys found it informative. Maybe it you know clarified some things. Hopefully. It's definitely part of healthy living, and again, the only thing that has been shown time and time and time again to improve lifespan is actually caloric restriction. Caloric restriction is the only thing that in every single study always, always shows that you live longer. And so that's typically like if your BMR, your, your basal me metabolic rate, is say 2400 calories a day you eat 1800 around 20 25 percent less you will live longer it's just a, a simple fact it's just like burning gas in an engine you know the, the more miles on the engine the quicker you know it's gonna run out so it's just like that with the body so just wanted to share that with you guys please thumbs up help support the channel Subscribe and share if you haven't, and share with your friends. And I look forward to seeing you all again, and stay healthy and vibrant out there. Take care.